Hello dear viewers, how are you? Long time no see. This is the very place where I had to take my original Duolingo test. I scored 140 in my real Duolingo test. Since then, I have been uploading my Duolingo videos only for you. So thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for watching my content. I'm truly honored to have your support. So who am I? I'm Nasi Alam. The name of my channel is Simple Talk. Please like and subscribe to my channel because I get encouraged when you submit uh, your comments or when you watch my videos or when you give me suggestions, when you keep in touch with me. So what I do, I work as a graduate teaching assistant. Where I work, I work at North Dakota State University. Where it is, it's in America. I'm also doing my master's in English. This is my second year. I'm going to complete my master's hopefully in spring 2024. Then I have applied to my department for the PhD program. Please pray for me. I want to get enrolled in our university's PhD program. So what am I gonna do today? Uh, it's night actually. So I'm gonna upload a new video. I will take a test with you. So keep watching my video and let's see how much I score in today tonight's Duolingo practice test. Uh, this is going to be my 13th video on Duolingo practice test. I score between 125 and 155. Let's see what happens tonight. Stay, stay, stay. Don't leave and subscribe. It's going to take some time, but yeah, by this time you can subscribe to my channel. I'm not sure about this blank. So what I do here, I tend to answer the questions I know about and the one I'm not sure about, I leave it open, then I come back to it, I try to solve the answer. Most of the time I get my answers correct, sometimes I make mistakes, that's what I always do. I try to remain honest and I make mistakes along the way because it's nothing. I mean, you can make mistakes. I don't have to be anyone is special to show that I'm a special. No, I don't have to. I just, an, I'm just an average person. I just take this test for fun and I share the content with you. Sometimes you, so you have to keep practicing. So I'm not sure about this one, but let's say, okay, let me go for need. I'm not sure it could be in need or need, but I'm sure about others and give me your thoughts. Impressed is an English word. Retired is an English word, pregnant, uh, image, then um, accused, no accus, no historical, success, commercial. Yeah. So how do I know that? I just read a lot and I try to write every day and also I read English newspapers. So this is how you can get a better idea. But again, I'm not saying that I'm an excellent individual. I'm just talking about the processes. You can also work on these processes and keep working hard. Go ahead and take your pick. My way is I try to hear the recording thrice, three times. So I already heard it once. I wrote it down. Go ahead and take your pick. Yeah. Go ahead and take your pick. Yeah.
performing arts are also supported by workers in related fields such as songwriting and stagecraft. A new study has revealed surprising details about the human brain. A new study has revealed surprising details about the human brain. A new study has revealed surprising details about the human brain. That's what I tell you. Here it tries. And it helps me a lot. I wish I would know about it before I took the test. Before I took the test, I didn't have too much preparation. But right now, I'm not going to take another test. But if I take it, I think I'll be better prepared. They are also distinguished from plants by the lack of rigid cell walls. So my way is I answer the questions that I know. The ones I'm confused about, I read them, I take my time and I think about the answers. So right now I'm confused about a couple of blanks. So I will be thinking about the answers. I'm all of a sudden I'm confused about the spelling of father, father, father. Mm. I think it's the correct spelling, but that is surprising. Why have I forgotten the spelling of father? Mm -hmm. I think it's okay. It happens. Does it? Sometimes you forget the common spelling. So sometimes you make this complaint that you do not hear my voice. Sometimes, yeah, it happened in some of my earlier videos, probably in a couple of videos. Uh, yeah, at that time, you can look at the captions or you can just see what I write. Uh, uh, another way is to watch my video without the earphones. I find out your best way. Okay, I'm doing my best. Uh, you can take help from the subtitles or just look at the screen, forget the sp speaking part and then focus on the written task. Or another way is look, take the content and practice it at home. Some, uh, I received, okay, I'll talk about it a little bit later. Continuity, you know the meaning. Wretched means somebody who is devastated. Somebody is shabby. She's, I mean, she doesn't have anything to do. She is completely drenched in sorrow. Dubious means doubtful. You doubt something. Then dignified means respected. Marmar means whisper, whisper. So these are the meanings I know of. I don't know about other meanings. I don't think they are the real English words, 
you think about it, you look at all the meanings, you look at the dictionaries uh, and find out whether I'm right or not. Okay, thank you. Wine is made by the fermentation of the sugar in grapes. Wine is made by the fermentation of the sugar in grapes. Wine is made by the fermentation of the sugar in grapes. So here it tries. Because in my first uh, record, I heard, I didn't hear the da sound. So when I heard it for the second time, I heard that da sound, T-H-E, da. So I had to hear it thrice. So in my third listening, I could hear the, I could confirm that the, that the da sound was there. Okay, so here it tries. The controller then tells the input to turn off the power as the water is already boiling. Early trains used horsepower and ran on wooden or iron tracks. Early trains used horsepower and ran on wooden or iron tracks. Early trains used horsepower and ran on wooden or iron tracks. So there is the tricky part. When I heard it the first time, I thought it would be and. But later, when I heard it again, I noticed that it should be or. So these are common questions. I had this question earlier, but I think I have got it right this time. So it's very careful. You be very careful while listening. Programming languages started to appear in the 1950s, and this was also another major step in abstraction. Scarcely means not enough, weary means tired, then the millennia means 2000, after 2000, frontier means your final place or something like that, but it's an English word. Trilogy means three, I mean, think about the movies, Spider-Man one, two, three, sentimental, Sometimes people become sentimental, you know the meaning. Legislation, legislation is law, legal things. Then contemplate means you think about something, unwise, not wise. And so these are the English words. I'm very sure about them. Repetence, yeah, repeating something that could be, I'm not sure, but I'm very sure about the other English words. Okay. So I'm sure about all the answers. <coughs> I got it a couple of times, but every time I um, couldn't find all the answers ready-made, so I had to think about them. So it, this is the beauty of the Duolingo test. You do the same practice, sometimes you find common questions, still you struggle at times. But if your basics are good, you will not be struggling too much. That's the mantra. Yeah, you can watch my other videos, you can watch my suggestive test guides. Uh, you may see that I always talk about it, that you can watch every content, you can watch every video, but beyond this video, you need to practice. How can you practice? Keep writing and watch everyone's videos, watch my videos, watch other Duolingo users' videos and take the content 
and practice the content like you can uh, take the speaking topics you can work on them i got a request from someone one of my followers or one of my subscribers so he asked me to give him some writing t writing topics i said just watch all my videos take the writing topics and practice them and if you want if i have no worries uh, no outside work you can email me even i can give you my feedback if you feel comfortable with that okay but do no money okay uh, no money needed if you need my suggestions there if i have time i'm not guaranteeing you that i will give you feedback if i have time if i have energy if i have that everything working in place i might give you feedback on your written task but do not take it personally that's my request small and large steamboats and riverboats worked on lakes and rivers Small and large steamboats and riverboats worked on lakes and rivers. Viewers, kindly check it and tell me. Large steamboats together or separately? River boats together or separately? Last time I had this question, but I couldn't check the correct answer. Please help me with that. Small and large steamboats and riverboats worked on lakes and rivers. The games added many new things, such as breeding and a new bag system. Troublesome, yeah, so I become troublesome for my teachers at times. Would stand means always remember would stand, endure. Okay, absorb pressure, withstand pressure. Withstand means you endure something, you have patience. Retrace means again going back to the trace, location. Sedentary means lazy, tactful, tactical, I guess, plausible, likely, endurable. I'm not sure about the spelling capitalism, someone who has capital, indisputable. You do not have any dispute. Incentive means you know the meaning that is mm, encouraging uh, coherence means unit united intuition you know it and i think it should be it's a spelling mistake i think it should be en durable One of my followers corrected my previous uh, mistake here. He said something like, I forgot, I wrote gun last time. So I'm not sure about it. It should be, I always get stuck here. So write down the answers you know, then find out the answer that you're confused about. Not sure about it. I always make mistake here. So tell me how you are. How is your life going on? So I thought that I would upload my videos regularly, but I'm not going to do that. I will upload my videos sometimes. If I upload them regularly, I'll run out of ideas. And I, I and YouTube is my part-time hobby, you can say. I am, I'm a, also a regular student, but I enjoy talking to you. I enjoy. This is what I'm very passionate about. I love it. 
I'm not here for perfection. I'm just trying to develop myself. And I really enjoy talking to you. I enjoy answering your questions. Sometimes you give me negative feedback, but I never take anything personally because I don't have to focus on every comment, but I reply to everyone because that is, I think it is right now is my duty to communicate with you. Um, so, so far, anything interesting going on in your life, anything you would like to share, feel free. And even if you need any tips or suggestions to improve yourself, feel free to talk to me, feel free to email me. Talk means you can email me, you can write comments and you can yeah even add me on linkedin okay you can even face send me a facebook request no problem there when it moves all the way around the clock the minute hand moves forward one space all of these scenarios increase the demands for modern refrigeration and manufactured ice All of these scenarios increase the demands for modern refrigeration and manufactured ice. All of these scenarios increase the demands for modern refrigeration and manufactured ice. It's always here it tries. I wrote off in the first time, but next time I corrected it, but I to get confirmed, I heard it tries. I hate this portion. I, I'm talking a lot. So the problem is when you talk a lot, you get tired easily because I'm writing, I'm focusing on the task and I'm also talking to you. So sometimes I get tired, but it's okay. I'm not sure about all the answers. I just clicked. I feel they are the correct answers. I gave them from my common sense. It has because of reading English newspapers and because of dealing with this subject matter. I, th I think I've got the answers correct. My gut feeling says that. The next section will help me to know whether my answers were correct or not, but I won't be able to see all of them because I will, I'll move on to the next topic. Uh, so I won't be able to come back, but you, my viewers, you can see whether I have given the right answers or not. Yeah, you take it out. So what I do nowadays, I just follow the last sentences of the first paragraph and the last paragraph. Then I try to look at the connection.
since they are talking about a consultant do last line so i thought it could be the correct answer i feel that i think it's the right answer so what i do nowadays i got this tech strategy after reading the duolingo test guide by the way you can watch my videos on duolingo test guide and i will keep uploading more by the over the period so what i do i read the last two sentences of the first paragraph and i, I read the last paragraph this is how i get the connection i look at the answers so i somehow feel that it is the correct answer because consultant consultant okay I think my answer was correct if you look at my previous content so this is a new passage I have never had this passage earlier this is my 13th video I think it's my first time solving this reading puzzle so I, I will focus on the last line help business grow so yeah So should I take a job or should I go for a doctoral program? That is the conversation about. So that is related to my life. I'm doing my master's. Sometimes I ask myself, should I go for a PhD program or should I go for a job? But none of them is easy. But yeah, there is no point in being hopeless. I try to stay hopeful a bit about my future. Hi, I'm doing well, thanks. What can I do for you? Accounting, I won't take it because he, we know that he's a, he's an urban studies student. Yeah. That's a tough decision. Have you been looking at jobs in the field that you're interested in? That's true. A doctoral program would give you the opportunity to gain more knowledge and research experience in your field so that you can eventually get a job that you want. It definitely takes a lot of time and commitment, but it can be very rewarding. If you're not sure if an advanced degree is for you, why don't you try working in your field for a few years and then decide whether or not to pursue a doctorate later on.
again that makes sense now it should not be a right answer because it it may it shows that the previous answers or pre the previous opinions shared by the professor uh, didn't make sense so uh, great idea idea i'll see you tomorrow then no, there is no talk about meeting the professor tomorrow yes that would be a huge change for me uh no he's not talking about any change that he needs to change something so i won't take that answer mm, i will do li a little more research there is no talk about research that you have to work on this uh, topic or you have to do more research i don't think so i think i think that's the best answer that's what i feel if i'm a pro professor this this is the answer I would expect from my student at the closure of the meeting. Yeah. I had this earlier, but now even if you give me any uncommon topic, I will be able to solve it. After solving the Duolingo test guide, uh, you can also watch some of my videos there. I think after taking their suggestions from the original website, I think I am more confident about answering these questions. So even if you do not watch my videos on Duolingo test guide, you can click Duolingo test guide and you will be able to find their tips and suggestions and they are really helpful. Oh, to give you the answer, I received a question that should I, can I look at the keyboard sometimes? Yeah, you have to focus on the camera. Sometimes you can just take a look, but you can't write like that. So I'll edit that answer.
Talk about a film or TV show from your country. That's a tricky question. Uh, which TV show? Okay. Hello. I can talk about a popular TV show named Itadi. The English meaning of Itadi is conclusion. So the host is Hanif Shonket. He is a fantastic speaker. He is the best orator I've ever seen. He makes everything, every boring thing interesting. He knows how to keep his shows interesting. He knows how to entertain his audiences. At the same time, he has the ability to keep his audiences or viewers informed about the daily or the current affairs of life. So he is sarcastic at times. How does he show that? He creates some comic elements and he has his performers. They do skits, they do some comic activities. He also has music programs. He um, also there are dancing dancing events and there are some interviews, some mini interviews. So the show runs on for one hour and it is going on for 35 years. People are still 
watching that show and even when this show gets published on youtube you will find a million subscribers within an hour so that for me is my favorite show I see an interracial couple here. One of them is upset. The man is trying to console his wife. She is thinking about leaving him. That could be one of the reasons. Or maybe, see, the, this is an interracial couple. People are throwing comments like, how come you are a person of color? You are a white woman. How come you are together? Probably somebody has made a racist comment. So the girl is upset and she is raising her voice and the man is consoling her that those people are bad. They are not good for societies. So let us ignore them. Let us move on because we love each other. Uh, color doesn't matter. Skin doesn't matter. People should not judge each other based on the color of their skin. So love overpowers everything. So in order to create an inclusive society of diverse perspectives we need to judge people based on their behavior and merit not through the color of their skin and if we continue to believe that black lives matter the people of colors lives matter then society will be an equitable society people need rules otherwise society or the societal structure gets broken so look at the first question what are the uh, some examples of rules that people follow think about the traffic signals so when i am in three lane street so i know that if i stay in the middle if the signal is showing go to the left side so i'll have to go to the left side instead of following that rule if i go to the right side then the cars coming from another side they might collide with me and they might get confused and because of flouting those common rules i might land myself in trouble so that's why we need rules rules bring us disciplines and they tell us what to do and what not to do why the rules were set so human beings, they love breaking rules. They love being irrational. They love running through their motion. So if the rules were not set in the first place, people would go haywire. People would break all the norms of society. And they, the, the people would create chaos. There would be mayhem and there would be violence. So that's why rules were set in the first place.
That's a tricky question. My wife always gives me good advice. I follow her advice from time to time. She loves me. She trusts me. And she wants the best for me. For that reason, she gives me sound advice. So she tells me sometimes I miss the mark. Sometimes I do not perform to the best of my abilities. I do not speak the things I should have avoided speaking or I speak the things I shouldn't have spoken about. So she warns me about my attitude. She gives me suggestions on how I can do better, how I can write better, how I can speak better and how I can teach better. She always comes with sound recommendations. So also it's not only for me. She has many friends. She, whenever she talks to her friends, she gives them sound or polished advice. Uh, she tells them not to walk the wrong path. Also my wife, through her action, she shows everyone how not to cross or how not to uh, choose the wrong path and how not why we should not cast anyone why we should not uh, make others days bad 
so we should try to enlighten others we should try to motivate others that's what my wife believes in she uh, keeps on doing good things for others she keeps on being charitable to all and she loves people and she communicates with people and most importantly she listens to me and after listening to me she comes with different suggestions one example i can say that i was failing in one subject and she took me on the board she gave me some reading materials she gave me some writing tips and she also erased many of my confusion and we had group studies we used to talk to each other we used to solve each other's problems and by communicating through email exchanges when i went away for some time she used to keep me on check via email so through her communication she used to inspire me to believe in my capacities and keep working hard to do much better for humanity so we all need trustworthy people in life and we need their advice even though sometimes it might break our conscience it might give us sorrow we need to trust them for their well wishes these are optional questions even if i answer them wrongly they will not give me any reduced score so if i really request you to watch this section at least because while taking the test in the future you might come across these experimental questions and, and at the time that they, they could be marked so be careful and practice them regularly duolingo i think is thinking about bringing in new types of questions at least in 2024 so let's start construct is an english word yeah so they are asking whether these words are english words or not no so this is not an english word i'm taking some time because i have talked a lot and i answered everything so my brain is gone it's difficult but it's interesting i love it I don't think so. Scramble, yeah. It's from money, money, yes, English. I'm not sure you can take about this one. Yes.
So that's my score, 135 to 145. So thank, thank you all. Uh, it was a good outing once again. And watch my video, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to answer. Thank you. Take care. Have a good night.